So quickly referring to my previous video, we said that the price, yeah, the total price you had to pay equals 25 times the amount of footballs you were going to buy. Yeah? Where if you buy one football, the price is going to be 25 times one, so 25 pounds. If you buy two footballs, 25 times two, yeah, the price equals 50 pounds. And we say then that P is directly proportional to F. Yeah? So if F becomes three times as big, then P becomes three times as big. Yeah? And I've showed you this graph already in a previous video as well. Yeah, but with direct proportion, yeah, if P is directly proportional to F, then your graphical representation of that situation is a linear equation going through the origin. Because if I buy zero footballs, I pay zero pounds. All right, P equals 25F. Okay, but now in more general terms, yeah, we will say that when Y is directly, directly proportional, proportional to X, yeah. Then the general equation is y equals k times x. And that's something perhaps you have to remember. However, if you understand it, you don't. Yeah. y equals a certain constant, a particular number, times x. Now, back to the footballs, that constant was 25. Yeah? So y equals 25x, yeah? p equals 25f y equals a constant times x. And when you are solving direct variation problems, most of the times you have to find that constant first and then you can answer particular questions. And I'm gonna give you an example now of what kind of questions you'll be answering. The question says, y is directly proportional to x and y equals 14 when x equals two. How much is y when x is five? Now this is a typical direct variation question. Yeah? Y is directly proportional, yeah? So that is important because as you can remember, we also have inverse proportion, yeah? but that's something for later. This is direct proportion, that's what they tell me. Y is directly proportional to x. So I already know that the formula is y equals yeah, kx. Yeah, let me write that down already. Basically, that's my first step. Because if I write that down, I put that little one there, it becomes a little bit easier because they say, well, y is 14 when x is two. Now let's use that general formula to make sense of what they're saying. Y is 14, Y is 14 when X is two. So K times two. Now hang on a minute. Now I can work out what that constant is. Because if I divide both sides by two, both sides by two for it to be equal, then K equals 14 divided by two, seven. So the general equation for direct proportion is y equals kx, but for this particular scenario, it is going to be y equals 7x. And you always have to find the equation belonging to the situation in your question. Yeah, y equals kx, they give you a value for y, they give you a value for x, yeah, that you find the equation y equals 7x in this particular case. And then your third step to answer this question is, yeah, how much is y when x is five? Well, that is substitution. So y equals seven times x, and seven times five, which is, I'll just put it here, 35. There we go. And you have answered the question properly. Now, just for your understanding, yeah, I drew some axes here. Y equals seven x, yeah, that was the equation we found. Yeah, and I just want to graph it, yeah, Y vertically, X, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, let's do this in steps of seven, seven, 14, 21, 28, 35. You can go on and on and on. Now, when X is zero, 
y is 7 times 0, 0. A direct proportion, linear equation has a line through the origin. When x is 1, y is 7. When x is 2, y is 7 times 2, 14. When x is 3, y is 7 times 3, 21. 4, 28, 5, and 35, 6, 42, 7, 49. Uh, this is just a sketch. If they ask you to draw it, you gotta do it properly. Yeah? But I do have a ruler today. Um, and then if you... Oh, but then my pen isn't working anymore with that ruler. Let me just sketch it then for you. You have a line through the origin, direct variation, y equals kx, y equals a constant times x. You have to find that constant. Uh, the constant is seven. So it's y equals 7x, and then you substitute because they want to know what y is when x is 5, well y is 35. And looking at the graph, y, x is 5, y indeed is 35. Direct variation. In the next video, I'm going to give you one more example.